Welcome to Best Incorporated Soldering Tip of the Month. This month's soldering tip will be on stick and pills. Hi, my name is Norman Muir and I'm an IPC Master Instructor. And again, like we said, today's soldering tip will be on how to use a stick and peel stencil. Okay, what items you will need is a squeegee. Make sure that it's a little bit rigid. Don't want it to bend real easy. Okay, we have our BJ that we're gonna install and we have a stick and peel. And the other thing, what we're gonna be utilizing is a lead-free solder, uh, SAC 305. So, here's what we're gonna start with. We've got our stencil here. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna peel the stencil away, okay? All I'm gonna do is just go this far right now so it's easier to peel off. But before you do anything, is you gotta make sure your site is prepped properly. So what we're gonna be utilizing is a little bit of isopropyl alcohol on a chem wipe and clean that area. Because remember, oils and contaminants and acids that are on your fingers could prevent a good quality solder joint. So here you can see we're cleaning it off just with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and then drying it off, don't touch it now. Then we're gonna grab our stencil again and then what we're gonna do is just peel it off just like so. So it comes out of the way. Then the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to align it properly so all the holes and everything are aligned. So here we go. Get a good position now. You want it centered all the way around just like that. And then what I do is I slightly rub it right here in the center. You don't need to rub the outer edges. And we oversize these out of the outer edges so when we squeegee across here, is that uh, the uh, solder paste won't go out to our board itself. It will stay on here and when we peel this back off, all of our residue is still on the stencil itself. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my lead-free solder paste. Now one thing you wanna know about lead-free solder paste or any paste when you're doing something like this, we have found out here that if you keep it cold and bring it straight out and stencil it, you won't have any slumping going on and it'll be nice even distribution. So here we go. Okay, I have a generous amount here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on one side and I'm gonna work my way to the other side, just like so. Just working across here, nice and smooth. Now the other thing you can do is you can turn your board like this and do this side. See nice even distribution. You don't see a lot of contamination out there on the outer edges. And you just come down through here just like that. Nice even distribution. And lay that on your squeegee off to the side, don't touch it. And you're gonna to inspect to look all the way around to make sure all the holes are filled and that you don't see any of your land areas whatsoever. And I do not. And you can also see I don't have a lot of residue left over on the outer edges. So now I'm gonna turn it around back this way. I'm gonna grab that little tab here. I'm gonna slowly start peeling it off. Even distribution pressure all the way through. And then my stencil is nice and even and all my little solder paste sites look nice, okay? You can go around here and look at each and every one of them all the way through, and you got a nice even amount. Now the next thing that you would do after this would be actually to install the BGA and get proper alignment and position. You gotta get good orientation, slowly bring it down, stay within your silk screen, drop it right on site, just like so. And then that would be it. I hope you enjoyed this little video stream. Thank you and have a nice day.